Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Suppose alpha, beta, and gamma are roots of the equation x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x plus 1 is equal to 0. Find the value of the cube root of alpha plus the cube root of beta plus the cube root of gamma. I thank Avinash for the suggestion. This is a textbook problem in preparation for the JEE Advanced which is famously one of India's hardest tests. I want to show you step by step how to solve this problem. So here's one way that we can figure it out. We will first examine the cubic equation. There are no simple roots like x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, or x is equal to negative 1. There's also no obvious way to factor the cubic equation. So we want to think about other patterns that might come to mind. In this case, the cubic equation resembles x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1, which is equal to the cube of the sum x plus 1. So let's transform the original equation by adding 27x to both sides. The left-hand side then becomes x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1, and the right-hand side is 27x. The left-hand side factors, we can then take the cube root of both sides, and the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. So we have x plus 1 is equal to 3 times the cube root of x. Now alpha, beta, and gamma are roots of the original equation, which means they satisfy this equation as well. Alpha plus 1 is equal to 3 times the cube root of alpha. Beta plus 1 is equal to 3 times the cube root of beta and gamma plus 1 is equal to 3 times the cube root of gamma. Let's now sum these three equations together. We get alpha plus beta plus gamma plus 3 is equal to 3 times the cube root of alpha plus 3 times the cube root of beta plus 3 times the cube root of gamma. Let's factor the right-hand side and then divide both sides by 3. So we're making good progress. We now just need to figure out the sum of alpha, beta, and gamma. But we can do that. From the original equation, we know that negative the coefficient on the second highest term divided by the coefficient on the highest term will be equal to the sum of the roots. The roots are alpha, beta, and gamma, so we have alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to the opposite of 3 over 1, which is equal to negative 3. So alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to negative 3. We can substitute that in, and then we have negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to the cube root of alpha plus the cube root of beta plus the cube root of gamma. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.